More than 840 pounds of samples were collected from the moon between 1969 and... It's a collection of rocks, core samples, pebbles, and dust that scientists are still learning from nearly 50 years later. Hidden within the craters and shadows of Earth's only natural satellite lies a discovery that has left the scientific community in stunned disbelief. China, a rising force in space exploration, has boldly ventured where others have only dreamt. It has unearthed a discovery so profound that challenges our perception of the moon's mysteries. As whispers of this revelation spread like wildfire through the scientific community, one question echoes in the minds of researchers and stargazers alike. What secrets does the moon hold, and how has China's revelation rewritten the cosmic narrative? Join us on a mesmerizing odyssey as China just found something strange on the moon that changes everything. The Discovery of Phosphorus Chinese scientists, propelled by their successful Chang'e 5 sample return mission, have recently unveiled a groundbreaking lunar discovery. For the first time, scientists have discovered evidence of phosphorus in an ocean not on Earth. Nestled within the moon's regolith, they stumbled upon a newfound mineral, a remarkable transparent crystal promptly christened Change Site Y. This development marks China as the third nation, following the United States and Russia, to identify a novel rock type on the lunar surface. The revelation of Change Site emerged from a modest collection of lunar regolith, a mere 61 ounces of dust and rocks, meticulously gathered by the Chang'e 5 rover during its lunar sojourn in 2020. The rover meticulously landed in the enigmatic expanse known as Oceanus Procolarum, colloquially referred to as the Ocean of Storms, a mysterious dark swath visible in the northwest corner of the moon. This specific lunar sample was procured in the proximity of Mons Rumker, an area steeped in volcanic history, with rocks and soil estimated to be a relatively youthful 1.2 billion years old. The Chang'e 5 rover employed a sophisticated technique involving a mechanical scoop and a drill capable of penetrating two meters beneath the lunar surface. In contrast, NASA's 1970s sample return mission revealed a regolith dating back between 3.1 and 4.4 billion years, underscoring the moon's geological diversity. Notably, none of the Apollo crew landings ventured anywhere near the Chang'e 5 sample collection site. Within this lunar treasure trove, Chinese scientists uncovered a singular particle of colorless, transparent crystal, resembling a diminutive diamond. Classified as a phosphate mineral and columnar crystal, the Changesite measures a mere 10 micrometers across, a microscopic marvel now certified by the International Mineralogical Association as a newfound lunar mineral, joining the ranks of only six others discovered in lunar samples. Discovery of Impact Melt Breccia the Chang'e 4 mission space adventure, named in honor of a Chinese moon goddess, began its celestial journey on December 7, riding the powerful Long March 3B rocket from the Chang Launch Center in the southwest. Since December 13, it's been gracefully soaring away from Earth's cosmic companion, fine-tuning its communication and data skills. Upon landing, the mission set out to explore the untouched realms of space and engage in captivating science experiments. Chinese scientists made waves in their report, disclosing a surprising discovery by the moon rover Yutu in a lunar crater. As they meticulously examined images and compared them with Apollo samples, they stumbled upon a classic moon rock with a twist. It had gone gooey, likely from a meteoric smooch. This lunar revelation, unveiled on July 2019, adds an enthralling dimension to our understanding of the moon's composition. The peculiar find raised eyebrows as this jelly-like glassy substance, a dark green shiny mass, stood out from the regular lunar landscape. It's more glassy than grandma's fancy wear, making it a moon oddity. Despite its relatively small size, measuring about 52 by 16 cm, this mysterious dark green substance captured attention due to its uniqueness. Unlike the typical moon dust, it didn't blend in but rather stood out with its enigmatic color. The lunar light, however, played hard to get, making it challenging for scientists to decipher these glassy rocks. They managed to pin down only about 38% of these intriguing lunar classes, leaving the rest shrouded in mystery. 
This space adventure not only broadens our cosmic horizons, but adds a splash of mystery and intrigue to the familiar lunar landscape. The brilliant minds at the Chinese Academy of Sciences spilt the cosmic beans in a scientific paper, unraveling the mystery of the dark greenish glowing impact Melt Breccia. They stumbled upon this lunar gem in the serene von Karman crater, quietly nestled on the far side of the moon, away from the celestial commotion. These lunar detectives, armed with snapshots from moon rovers and samples from the American Apollo missions, drew intriguing comparisons. The greenish phenomenon bore a striking resemblance to the Apollo samples, sparking their curiosity. The hypothesis took flight. Could this enigmatic substance have emerged from a celestial clash? It was a lunar collision tale that potentially unfolded on December 1st, 2020. Discovery of Helium-3 Among China's lunar discoveries, Helium-3 emerges as a cosmic gem, stealing the spotlight with its potential to revolutionize energy. While Helium-3 isn't a newcomer to our scientific repertoire, its abundance on the moon distinguishes it as a lunar treasure waiting to be harnessed. Unlike Earth, the moon lacks a magnetic shield, leaving its surface vulnerable to the ceaseless barrage of solar wind and cosmic radiation. It's under these lunar conditions that Helium-3 is produced, a unique isotope boasting two protons and one neutron, a stable anomaly in the realm of atomic structures. This rarity is not just a scientific curiosity, it holds the key to a theoretical nuclear fusion reaction of deuterium and helium-3, promising an extraordinary 164.3 megawatt hours of energy per gram of helium-3. To put this in perspective, the Hoover Dam, a colossal hydroelectric behemoth, generates 11,000 megawatt hours of energy daily. Astonishingly, a mere 67 grams of helium-3 could match this colossal output. The implications are mind-boggling offering a glimpse into the potential of lunar resources to meet our insatiable energy demands. What adds to the allure of Helium-3 is its clean energy promise. Unlike conventional nuclear reactions, neither Helium-3 nor its reaction products radiate harmful substances. This means no radioactive nuclear waste, alleviating one of the significant concerns associated with nuclear energy. Currently, our main source of helium-3 is as a byproduct from the decay of tritium isotopes found in existing nuclear warheads, yielding a modest 15 kilograms annually. This scarcity propels helium-3's price to astronomical heights, exceeding a staggering $17,500 for a single gram. As we explore the moon's bounty, helium-3 stands as a beacon, offering a tantalizing glimpse into a cleaner, more potent energy future. Helium-3, a versatile element, currently finds itself during small-scale nuclear fusion experiments and plays a crucial role in medical imaging technology. Notably, it's an integral component in neutron radiation detectors, the vigilant guardians at U.S. border crossings scanning for any traces of nuclear materials. The Moon, a celestial treasure trove, is speculated to house a staggering 1.5 million metric tons of helium-3 on its lunar expanse. This astronomical figure translates to a potential resource value of approximately one and a half quadrillion dollars. To power global nuclear fusion initiatives, a mere hundred tons of helium-3 would suffice. Imagine China with its pioneering Chang-4 mission stationed on the far side of the moon. With China's Chang'e 4 mission on the far side of the moon after the first ever soft landing there earlier this month. Diligently seeking out these coveted helium-3 deposits. China not only claims to have located these deposits, but also asserts possession of a method to efficiently extract the essential isotopes from lunar soil. However, the challenge lies in the scale of extraction required to make a substantial impact on Earth's energy landscape. The lunar soil's highest estimated concentrations of helium-3 hover around 50 parts per billion, adding an extra layer of complexity to the extraction process. While China remains tight-lipped about the precise concentration figures derived from their samples, it's clear that extracting meaningful quantities demands extensive space mining efforts. To produce just one gram of helium-3, an estimated 150 tons of lunar regolith would need processing, a formidable task. The complexities don't end there. 
Transporting these lunar riches back to Earth poses another intricate challenge in the quest to harness the Moon's energy potential. 1.9 billion years old rocks. The Chang'e 5 mission marked a triumph for China, unraveling the mystique surrounding our universe's celestial companion. The mission's meticulous analysis of collected samples unveiled a startling revelation. The rocks harvested from the lunar surface date back approximately 1.97 billion years, with a precision of plus or minus 50 million years. This precise age disclosure stands as a monumental breakthrough, endowing the scientific community with a crucial tool for calibrating chronology instruments vital in determining lunar age. The significance reverberates through scientific corridors, shaping our comprehension of the Moon's 4.5 billion year history. Armed with the age of these lunar rocks, researchers can construct an intricate timeline, deciphering pivotal lunar events. This temporal roadmap not only aids in dating the genesis of specific craters and the inception of lava flows, but also delves into the very formation of the Moon itself. Understanding the age of these lunar relics is an invaluable asset in decoding the lunar landscape's evolution. Scientists can now unravel the intricate dance of meteorite bombardments, volcanic eruptions, and various natural phenomena that have sculpted the lunar surface over millennia. Chang'e 5's revelations extend beyond mere historical documentation, bestowing planetary science with the means to scrutinize lunar processes with unprecedented precision. In particular, researchers can now probe the Moon's volcanic activities, dissect meteorite bombardments, and scrutinize the natural occurrences that have molded the Moon's character through time. The precision of these age determinations further empowers investigations into the enigmatic realm of the Moon's magnetic field. Analyzing the Moon rock's hydrogen content, scientists unearthed a revelation. The Moon likely boasted a more robust magnetic field than previously believed. This unexpected insight not only challenges past assumptions, but also sparks intrigue about the Moon's role in shaping our solar system's genesis. The newfound knowledge, stemming from the precise dating of Moon rocks courtesy of the Chang'e 5 mission, marks a paradigm shift. It propels scientists into a realm of exploration where the Moon's surface formations, geology, and physical processes serve as windows to the solar system's earliest days composition of basalt rock. The treasure trove of samples brought back by the Chang'e 5 mission serves as a key to unlocking the moon's volcanic mysteries. Led by the Chinese Academy of Geological Sciences, co-author Dunyi Lu utilized the sophisticated, sensitive high-resolution ion microprobe to delve into the lunar basalt's composition. This high-tech exploration unveiled a wealth of secrets shedding light on lunar activities spanning the past two billion years. The monumental breakthrough in developing comprehensive lunar and solar system chronologies hinges on understanding basalt. This igneous rock, a result of molten lava cooling and solidifying, boasts a dark complexion comprising plagioclase, pyroxene, and olivine. Notably, basalt reigns supreme on the moon, a testament to its volcanic past. The Chang'e 5 mission's revelations extend further, painting a vivid picture of lunar basalt composition similar to Earth's basalt. This implies a striking similarity in the Moon's volcanic history to our own planets. Diving deeper into lunar basaltic composition, the mission uncovers an array of minerals, olivine, pyroxene, and plagioclase, formed through the cooling of molten lava, mirroring Earth's basaltic genesis. The shared presence of these minerals underlines a parallel narrative between lunar and terrestrial volcanic activities. The Chang'e 5 mission not only provides a riveting glimpse into the Moon's geological past, but also establishes an intriguing connection, suggesting the Moon's volcanic story echoes Earth's geological saga. The Discovery of Recent Volcanism Chang'e 5's revelations have unfolded a new chapter in lunar science peeling back the layers to expose recent volcanic phenomena on the Moon. While scientists had long speculated about the existence of minor volcanic activities, Chang'e 5 marks the first time we have concrete evidence of this lunar volcanic theater. The mission's lunar volcanism, observation and analysis have not only confirmed recent volcanic events, 
but have also unearthed an extraordinary collection of basaltic materials, distinctly diverging from those found on Earth or in other lunar regions. These unique basaltic materials serve as cryptic messages from the moon's recent volcanic history, beckoning scientists to decipher their tales. What's particularly intriguing is the presence of small regions adorned with crusted volcanic gases, Elements such as iron, silicon, aluminum, oxygen, and magnesium mingle in these lunar snapshots, highlighting the dynamic nature of recent lunar volcanic activity. This revelation challenges the conventional image of the moon as a dry, barren celestial body. The Chang'e 5 samples suggest a vibrant, albeit modest, lunar activity, adding a splash of unpredictability to our lunar perceptions. Delving into the analysis of these newfound basalts, scientists gain not only insights into recent lunar events, but also a clearer understanding of the Moon's volcanic past spanning the last two billion years. This groundbreaking analysis lays a solid foundation for future lunar exploration endeavors, promising to unveil more secrets about the Moon's geology, mineralogy, and the transformative processes etched onto its surface over eons. Clues about the Moon's magnetic field. This Chang'e 5's exploration has not only uncovered the Moon's hidden secrets, but has also paved innovative pathways for further understanding of our celestial neighbor. The spotlight falls on the mission's findings about hydrogen within Moon rocks, ushering in a new era of exploration into the Moon's magnetic mysteries. One of the groundbreaking revelations revolves around hydrogen binding to rock grains in specific temperature conditions, hinting at a potential lunar history marked by a vast lava ocean. This hypothesis gains strength from magnetohydrodynamics principles, suggesting that molten silicates infused with magnetic elements could generate a global magnetic field. The presence of hydrogen in moon rocks becomes a clue signaling the existence of a widespread magma ocean on the lunar surface. This not only holds the capacity to generate a magnetic field, but also influences the overall environmental temperatures. The intrigue deepens when considering lunar bombardment and asteroid impacts. Conventional wisdom would predict these impacts to erase any magnetic imprints on the moon's surface. However, Chung A5's revelations challenge this notion. Consistent crater densities on both sides of the moon imply the existence of a magnetic field shielding the lunar surface from destruction. Hydrogen's presence in moon rocks aligns seamlessly with the theory suggesting a richer lunar magnetic history than previously assumed. This nuanced narrative implies that the moon, once deemed a passive witness to space's violent forces, may have harbored a dynamic magnetic history. The hydrogen-infused moon rocks open a window to an unexpected past, suggesting magnetic fields played a crucial role in shaping and preserving the lunar landscape amid the cosmic chaos of asteroid impacts. The Chang'e 5 mission thus not only brings new dimensions to lunar exploration, but also challenges our preconceptions, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the moon's magnetic fabric. The Moon's Water Source The Moon our cosmic companion, long veiled in mystery, has recently unraveled some of its secrets thanks to the endeavors of Chinese scientists. Only two years ago, China's robotic spacecraft Chang'e 5 embarked on a mission to explore the enigmatic expanse known as Oceanus Procellarum, visible from Earth as the Ocean of Storms. This lunar odyssey led the spacecraft to touch down near the towering Mount Rumker, a monumental feat in itself. What makes this mission truly groundbreaking is that, after nearly half a century, Chang'e 5 accomplished what no other mission had since the Soviet Union's 1967 endeavor. It gathered samples from the Moon's surface and transported them back to Earth. Among these samples, a stunning revelation unfolded. The Moon, contrary to previous belief, harbors water, an unexpected find given the intense heat during its formation approximately 4 billion years ago. The discovery challenges the notion that lunar water evaporated over time, as scientists uncovered substantial amounts of frozen water, particularly concentrated at the moon's poles where perpetual darkness prevails. NASA eyes these polar regions for future human exploration, recognizing the value of this lunar water for potential space travel. But Chang'e 5's accomplishments extend beyond water revelation. 
It returned with over 60 ounces of lunar soil and rocks, a treasure trove enriched with rare minerals such as Change Site Y and Helium-3. Changi 5 didn't simply rest after collecting lunar samples. Even before its triumphant return to Earth, it went a step further. Equipped with an onboard instrument, it undertook measurements that hinted at an astonishing revelation, the likely presence of water on the lunar surface. Water, the elixir of life and a resource scarcer than diamonds in the vastness of deep space, was found right there on the moon. This discovery ignited a captivating question. Where did this lunar water originate? Theories surfaced. Some proposed asteroids as carriers, while others suggested an unseen lunar water source. The answer might lie in the moon samples taken from its northwest, skillfully brought back to Earth by China's Chang'e 5 spacecraft. These lunar treasures, microscopic glass beads resembling celestial pearls, hold an enchanting secret. Formed by the intense heat of meteorite impacts, these beads are more than just captivating. They cradle traces of water. Dr. Sen, a scientist from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, disclosed a staggering revelation. For every ton of lunar soil, these crystals harbor around 2,000 kilograms of water. What adds to the allure is their ubiquity. These glass beads adorn the lunar landscape from the equator to the poles. The moon, battered by countless meteorite impacts throughout its existence, has become a repository of these glass beads, each potentially preserving the key to lunar water. While scientists initially believe the moon's water primarily exists in a form known as hydroxyl, there's speculation that it might also exist in a molecular state. The mind-boggling estimate suggests that an astonishing 270 billion tons of water could be concealed within these celestial glass beads, further enhancing the moon's mystique and offering a potential reservoir for future lunar exploration and perhaps even human survival. In 2010, NASA's estimate of 600 million tons of ice at the moon's North Pole hinted at potential water reservoirs. However, the Chang'e 5 mission's recent discovery suggests an even more substantial water source, opening up exciting possibilities for life beyond Earth. This newfound water, hidden within the lunar glass beads, might just be the unexpected key to sustaining life on the moon. The lunar samples brought back by Chang'e 5 add another layer to this lunar tale. Unlike the older samples collected by Apollo and Soviet missions, these are relatively youthful. Recent research indicates that the water-containing glass beads began forming two billion years ago, during periods of intense meteorite bombardment, reminiscent of events leading to the dinosaurs' extinction 68 million years ago. Unraveling the mystery of how water entered these lunar crystals leads to the sun. Positively charged hydrogen atoms from solar winds are believed to have infiltrated the glass beads, bonding with oxygen. When the sun heats these beads, they release some of their hydrogen, playing a crucial role in the moon's water cycle. These glass beads, then, are not merely passive carriers of water. They actively control its movement across the moon. This discovery doesn't just mark a scientific triumph, it's a potential game-changer for space exploration. It prompts scientists to delve deeper, pondering whether the moon's water could become a lifeline for astronauts during extended missions away from Earth, reshaping the landscape of possibilities for future space exploration. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. The global scientific community was rocked when China's lunar rover stumbled upon an ancient alien artifact beneath the lunar surface. As headlines blazed with, China just found something strange on the moon that changes everything, the world held its breath. The artifact, a crystalline structure emitting an otherworldly hum, confounded even the brightest minds. It seemed to defy the laws of physics and hinted at a technology far beyond human comprehension. Rumors spread like wildfire, and conspiracy theories flourished. Some believed it was a beacon left by extraterrestrial beings, while others whispered about ancient civilizations predating humanity. International teams collaborated with Chinese scientists to decipher the artifact's cryptic symbols, triggering a race against time. The revelations promised to reshape humanity's understanding of the cosmos, sparking an intellectual renaissance. 
As researchers delved into the enigma, they uncovered a holographic map revealing celestial gateways and dormant stargates hidden across the universe. The artifact's discovery ignited a space race not seen since the Cold War. Nations set aside their differences, pooling resources to unlock the secrets of the universe. The once dormant dreams of interstellar travel and cosmic exploration were reborn. The strange find on the moon had become the catalyst for a new era, where humanity's quest for knowledge reached beyond the stars. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments below. Surface Water Detected The researchers, a diligent bunch from the Institute of Geology and Geophysics at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, dived headfirst into a pool of data. Upon their exploration, the findings sent ripples of excitement as they uncovered unmistakable hints of water. Using Chang'e 5's readings, the scientists became like celestial detectives, identifying H2O molecules by examining their spectral reflectance, a fancy term for how substances play with sunlight. The implications of their discovery were like fireworks on the 4th of July. Matt Siegler, a seasoned scientist at the Planetary Science Institute in sunny Tucson, Arizona, chimed in, suggesting that the moon might be hiding more water than we ever imagined. Quite the twist from the old narrative of the moon being a dry and barren land that the Apollo astronauts painted upon their return in 1969. But that wasn't the end of the lunar saga. The Indian Space Research Organization's Chandrayaan-1 joined the cosmic party, dropping hints of hydration on the lunar surface. Yet a cosmic mystery lingered. Was it straightforward H2O or some chemically intriguing hydroxyl, similar to a drain cleaner? NASA's Casey Honable, a postdoctoral fellow, added to the cosmic drama, revealing icy deposits in the moon's shadowy craters tucked away near its poles. Even the historic Apollo samples, revisited by inquisitive scientists, spilt the beans. Trapped in glass beads and minerals were elusive water molecules, causing some serious head-scratching and skepticism. Was this water genuinely lunar, or did Earth's moisture sneak in and mess with the lunar vibes? And, as if scripted by the universe, just a month before China's lunar lander Chang'e 5 danced with lunar waters, NASA made waves with a groundbreaking announcement. From a mind-boggling altitude of 45,000 feet above Earth, NASA confirmed the existence of water in the sunlit parts of the Moon. How did they do it? With the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, of course. This high-flying detective agency picked up the distinct signals of water molecules, suggesting that the Moon might be a wetter place than our wildest dreams extending beyond its frosty poles. It was a game-changer, and suddenly, all those previous hints about water on the moon felt like mere teasers before the grand reveal brought by China's lunar touchdown. In the cosmic detective tale, Matt Siegler, a planetary scientist, emphasized the meticulousness needed in handling the spectral reflectance data. To unveil the water's quantity, the data had to undergo a careful temperature correction. The hitch, however, was deciphering an object's exact temperature from such a colossal lunar distance. Enter Chang'e 5, the lunar superhero. By planting its feet on the moon's surface, it performed a temperature check directly, sweeping away the ambiguity that plagued its distant data siblings. Yet, hold your horses if you're picturing moonlit lakes or babbling brooks. Chang'e 5's water discovery was more like finding a needle in the cosmic haystack concealed within the lunar soil of the dramatically named Oceanus Procellarum, or the Ocean of Storms. Scientists suspect this tiny water stash could be a cosmic alchemy trick. When the solar wind, a stream of charged particles from the sun-rich hydrogen atoms, collides with lunar soil, it might just create water, adding a layer of cosmic intrigue. Nearby moon rocks from the same area boasted a higher water concentration, hinting at an undiscovered lunar water source that keeps researchers scratching their heads. China's Moon Base Within the vast expanse of space exploration, China is unfurling its cosmic wings, fueled not just by national pride, but by dreams of constructing a manned moon base, signaling ambitions that extend beyond Earth's confines. Their vision stretches toward launching nuclear-powered rockets, a celestial symphony that aims to colonize and explore the cosmos. By 2028, 
they aimed to lay the foundation of their first moon base, a lunar haven that would challenge NASA's historic space dominance. This isn't just a fanciful dream. China's space odyssey is materializing through a carefully orchestrated series of missions. The Chang'e 6, 7, and 8 missions are the architects of this lunar vision, wielding a sophisticated arsenal of landers, hoppers, orbiters, and rovers. These celestial tools, like a cosmic toolbox, are set to carve the path toward China's lunar destiny. Wu Weiren, the maestro behind this celestial symphony, envisions a fully operational moon base within a decade, proof of China's prowess in the celestial domain. This lunar masterpiece, fueled by nuclear energy, represents a giant leap in space exploration, a saga where China confidently etches its mark on the celestial map. Meanwhile, China's cosmic journey isn't confined to lunar exploration. It spans moons and planets, a cosmic ballet that has seen probes sent to the moon, the construction of a space station, and imminent plans to venture to Mars. In this thrilling space race with NASA, the goal isn't just revisiting the moon, it's about tapping into lunar treasures that could foster life and serve as a launch pad for humanity's next giant leap, Mars. The billions invested by both nations in this cosmic treasure hunt aren't just for curiosity. It's an investment in our cosmic future, unlocking the mysteries of the moon, perhaps paving the way for a Martian rendezvous. China's lunar aspirations are honing in on the moon's south pole, a region believed to be a gold mine of accessible water. Beyond merely constructing a base, there's a grand vision to transform it into an international research station. The blueprints for this ambitious endeavor are already laid out, with a series of missions poised to pave the way for a permanent lunar residence. In the Cosmic Pipeline, a trio of thrilling robotic missions slated for the early 2030s is gearing up to test vital technologies and lay the cornerstone for China's International Lunar Research Station. Before this grand plan unfolds, China is gearing up for a lunar touchdown in the short term. Enter Chang'e Missions, the cosmic architects of China's lunar saga. Following the triumph of Chang'e 6, its successor, Chang'e 7, is poised to launch around 2026 armed with an orbiter, lander, rover, and a mini flying detector. This lunar quartet is on a mission to scrutinize the moon's topography, material composition, and environment, hunting for traces of water ice in the perpetually shadowed lunar nooks. Hot on its heels, Chang'e 8, set to make waves in 2028, is all about testing in situ resource utilization and 3D printing technology setting the cosmic stage for a manned lunar landing in 2030. Imagine this, three astronauts catapulted toward the moon, two making history with a lunar touchdown. The China International Lunar Research Station, a cosmic hub, is set for five launches in the early 2030s, laying the groundwork for energy, communication, and resource utilization. The success of these lunar quests rests on the formidable shoulders of the long March 9th Super Heavy Lift rocket, a cosmic powerhouse recently revamped for reusability, adding an eco-friendly touch to China's cosmic ambitions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.